guys, welcome. Now, we're down here at Tiny One, um, and we've just started it up for the first time in five months and run it. Oh, that was in a, a different video. But we're here, and this might give some of it away. Dad's been shopping, and um, shopping and thinking, two dangerous things. But he's, his excuse is that he wants to try and get some of the heat out of the engine bay here. So, because the mufflers obviously... Open that door there, the, Matt. The mufflers show what? Them, show them the size of the mufflers. There's a metre and a, a square metre and a half on each muffler of, of um, dissipation area. So there, that's all them up there. That's the mufflers there. So, two of them. And describe what we're doing. And... Basically, Dad's plan, I'm, I'm, see if this goes belly up, I'm using a lot of words like this is Dad's idea, Dad's plan. Yeah, because I'll die sooner. Yeah, <laughs> so, so we've got um, straight off the turbos there, so there and there, there's a little flange, and then we've got these elbows here, um, we've got a few of them, just going to have to be welded onto the flange. Come straight out the side, um, in a bit of a... Actually, bit of a Mad Max while you while you keep going situation. Grab that other flange because you were supposed to read my mind and know that that's I needed that one as well. Yeah, well, it's hard to read your mind. Yeah, well, you've got a head start. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a good chance. Um, so this is this is the one off the Andrew, good friend Andrew. Well, he he bought tiny two. Yes, he bought tiny two, and he had some uh, spare elbows, so I cut the the um, cooling shroud off off the ones that he sent up and so we'll that'll bolt straight on so that's about what five inch six inch five and a half inch into four and a half inch so we'll bring that clip that on to the back of the turbo there so that's that bit there so you might want to hold that in so these ones here will go straight onto the back of the turbo this one here and come out I can't really no. see or do much here, Dad, but... No, that's all right. We're, tight. we're just going to take that we're... Gonna take that guard off, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I think you're just... You're wanting to see, one, how much noisier it is, but two, how much cooler we can get it to run. Yeah, that's that was the... I mean, everyone wants to know... What, what it sounds like, like, straight piped. But for me, I think to, to redo the cooling package is going to be maybe $20,000. How much heat can we take out of it by isolating the mufflers from the heat? Because mm. the air's been drawn in through the back, pushed over the mufflers and out the front. So it may well be insignificant and that's fine, but these the bits and pieces I've got cost $500 and we might be able to rope someone into helping us. Like yeah, well, you know, Brad, Brad and Phil, neither of who are very excited about the idea. Um, but they are about their own project. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's just... Uh, anyway, it's hard to read. We've got a complex family here, guys. Um, but Brad did say that that is pitiful, that four and a half inch pipe. He reckons at least six inch out the sides. Otherwise, it's going to look really, really well, bad. Do you reckon? Do you reckon we should have them coming out just on, on an angle like this, out like a, yeah. like a um, drag race? Yeah, yeah. I reckon have have split it into two, and have two on each side coming out, two four inches. <laughs> <laughs> And you reckon I'm the one? <laughs> and we'll see if we can get some flames out the side. <laughs> no, but, but on a nah. serious note, we do want to do a decibel um, test, um, see what it's like before we do anything, say in the cab, and even if it's working, so just get it and then get some numbers to see. I expect it'll be up quite a bit. Well, the thing is, that, like with a turbo machine, most people would know that the turbos take out a lot of noise, so there shouldn't be a lot of crackling, but. Um, yeah, anyway. So I've got a bit of, I've got 100 and, like 1.3 metres of straight pipe, so we can, it'd be good to get it up above the cabin. That would help a lot with the noise. And I think that's 1.3 there, which is, that, that'll be close. Anyway, this, this, is, this is looking good because that flange will go straight on and come, and come straight out. We won't be able to open that guard there, but we unless, might have to go on an angle. Unless we, point it up like this, like you say, because you, you'll be able to clear that and then open it. Oh, we're all here to learn. But anyway, we're not doing it today because we're in a hurry, so this video will continue um, at a later date when we've got more resources and less 
But time pressure. But don't hold your breath because <laughs> harvest is coming up. Yeah, this could it may never happen and you'd never see this, but if you've got this far in the video, there's a good chance that it's happened. <laughs> so anyway, that's good. I'm like one of those rats, eh? I keep gnawing away. <laughs> I keep harassing everyone. As Phil says, he's a tiger we've got a tiger by the tail. You just don't know what's gonna come at, come or happen next. What ideas coming, what's gonna need to be done. So free of responsibility. Yeah, you've been you've had the responsibility of the farm for a, a fair few years and yeah, once I, that's gone. I was having to hold back you you guys crazy ideas <laughs> the isolator. Yes. Yeah, how the tables have turned. In my word it's fun. <laughs> you you gave your dad a headache when you were young and you give your sons a headache when you're old, eh? That's the way it should be. <laughs> well, We'll see you, whether it's a few days, a few weeks, who knows. But yeah, these are the bits. All sorts of possibilities, you don't come straight out of that. Straight out of there like that. We can go up like that, we can go like that. Can, I don't know, we can go like that. And have... <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. Righto guys, we'll see you in the next part of this video. Well, hello everybody. We're back here with Tiny One. Now, Dad's not with us. Um, he's off on a bit of a holiday for the weekend, but he's entrusted myself and Mitch, and you'll find it in a little while while we don't usually let Mitch on the camera. Um, but I'll, I'll introduce him in a bit. So we're back here and we are going to attempt this straight piping the D11 situation. Um, First things first, I'm going to just start it up um, and get some decibel readings. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably load it up. Um, I have warmed it up already, but um, I'll load it up in second gear on the torque converter and we'll, um, I'll first do it with the door closed and then I'll do it with the door open. And um, that way we've got a baseline to see how much louder it'll be um, and all of that. So. That's at idle. So that's full load with in the cab. Tell you what, that door does a lot for the noise. Um, so that looks like it was uh, 80 decibels with the door closed, and it was about 94 decibels with the door open. So uh, yeah, quite a difference. But what we're going to attempt, we're going to pull these guards off here and just see how well, best configuration to get that out. Um, so, guys, this is, I'll be generous, this is a family friend, <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> so he, well, Dad actually roped him into um, helping with this, and you didn't need a lot of encouragement. No, no, really. I was very much on board. <laughs> so, um, Mitch is, um, he's, he's embracing his inner, inner American. <laughs> No, so yeah, roll call. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I'll have to stop him from trying to tweak the fuel pumps too. I reckon. Look, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> up on that. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have mentioned it. It's in your head <laughs> no, now. You have. Wait till I tell your old man. He'll be all on. Yeah, no. Well, it's Brad too. You got to watch. Wow. Well, yes. That's no. What... We don't let Brad touch anything. Brad, Brad, Brad breaks things. Yeah, Brad gets it from somewhere though, eh? <laughs> um. Anyway, so you got the rattle gun. We'll see if we can pull these guards off. I'll stick you guys somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys can watch us. Have no idea what we're doing.
Well guys, we are just welding up our guesstimation of the angle that we need. Just show them there Mitch, the rough plan. That's going to stick on there, isn't it? Yep, just there like that. Just there like that. That's going to angle up a bit and then we're going to weld... Oh yeah, we're still figuring out exactly what we're going to do there. Probably Whether we put a sleeve on or, on yeah, do it, just weld it straight on. Um, and that'll be what we do. That means we can still open this. That's just, it's almost professional. Almost being <laughs> So, anyway, that's what we're up to. Just doing a few tacks. We might take it back and weld it up properly when we when we figure out exactly how it's all gonna work. But um, yeah, it's looking good. It's actually might work. Right, guys, uh, fun and games here. It's taking a little bit longer than we thought, but that's just usual. Um, so what we've come up with, um, we've welded a little bit of metal and these brackets to the handrail here to support it. We really don't want any damage to happen down there with vibration. The idea is basically is to run this for a day or two just to see heat wise how the engine behaves compared to the, um, the with the mufflers all up in there. So yeah, we don't want to cause any damage with vibration and cracking out mounts down at the turbo. So if most of the weight can be taken off this handrail, which is very solid, um, we'll be set. So we got that, we're gonna take this off later and weld it all up. We don't have enough pipe to go as high as we want. So we've had to cut up a couple of the mandrels and yeah, we're, we're gonna have to muck around a little bit, but we really wanna get above the cab eventually. Um, but yeah, we may not be able to get there just at this time. But anyway, other than that, it's all coming together. So I think we're just gonna do the other side, get it to a point, similar point to this, pull it all off, take it back finish it up and we may not get back to fit it properly but we'll give it a run anyway while we're down here just like this and even do a little comparison and then um yeah we can tidy everything up um once we know it fits i think we're just about ready to fire it up it's by no means complete this is just a test fire um we do have to take them off and do a bit of work on them um how do you think it's come along mitch and uh, I'll, get, I'll get down here get down here on my level yeah <laughs> instead of looking down on me yeah. <laughs> i'm used to that um yeah, no, it's a bit agricultural, but I think it'll work. Yeah, so it's a little bit uh, agricultural for the minute, but all we need to do is test it and then run it for a day or two and see whether it takes away some heat. You reckon it will? Oh, uh, in theory it should. Yeah, I can't see why not. And whether it's enough. Whether it's enough versus noise that you've got to put up with. But we're just pretending that it's all about the um, the heat reduction. It's really just about the noise. So It really is. I'm uh, just about to fire it up. So, And then we've got some, oh, some more welding to do. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. That's loud. How much noisier is it? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh guys, my head is pounding. I'm not sure. <laughs> I definitely need to raise those. <laughs> oh mate. How'd that sound from out here? Uh, it was very exciting. Very exciting. I, I'm, uh, oh, I'm a little bit impressed. That, very happy. That hurt. <laughs> oh mate, yeah I know. I'll have to check the measurements. I took some um, screenshots. And and the uh, the nice little turbo whistle. You yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a bit exciting. Uh, what do we got here? It went up to <laughs> about 108 decibels with the door open. <laughs> so what's that? That's 112. Uh, no, sorry, 12 decibels more. Yes. So that's uh, times uh, divide that by three, four, four times louder. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I think if my maths is correct. Hey, but we don't have to drive it. So no. It's not our problem. Um, yes, no, Phil's going to be driving that. He may not be happy, but we'll see if it's quieter when we stick it up over the top. But And it's got holes in it because we haven't fully welded it. But yeah, that, that was just the concept. That's how it is. Hopefully we can get another, well, maybe 1,200, I think we reckon, on the top of that. Take the end of it above the cab, and that might lower the noise a bit. But uh, anyway, a bit, a bit of excitement now to um take it and do it do a proper job so not sure whether how much how long this video already is but um whether we break it into two parts so we might leave it there for this video and wait till the next one but um yeah we'll go from there catch us in the next one